to remove the old weather stripping from the top of the windshield. In this case, it's on an E53 X5. As you see, uh, as you can see, it become brittle. I've taken a piece of uh, trim removal tool to insert in between. It's kind of hard to see now. There we go. In between the glass and the trim itself, and I ran it all the way across to loosen up uh, the uh, the glue. Okay. Once that's done, I rec put that aside. I recommend grabbing a set of forceps, right, and grasping uh, anyway, the metal part. Grasping the, the the metal part, and then you'll see just kind of pulling it out, and it will start to to loosen. All right. Then you're going to want to clean this up, and then reinsert the the new Next, one. Next, use there. a little bit of goo gone to remove the old glue from the top of the shield the windshield before you put on the new uh, the new replacement uh, strip. You're going to want to make sure that you do a good job of cleaning and removing the residue from the Goo Gone, as well as the old dirt and residue from the previous window strip. So I've taken a towel here and sprayed some, uh, after I've done the Goo Gone part, I've sprayed some um, Simple Green on it, and I'm being sure to, to wedge it in between the, the car body and the glass itself to remove all the, the dirt and grime. And your towel should look pretty grimy when you're done with it. Once you're clean, then go ahead, make sure you clean the... Uh, the glass itself to remove all, like I said, the residue from the uh, from the goo gone, and then apply the uh, the new rubber strip. All right. So taking it off is the easy part. Putting it on requires a bit of muscle. I missed a spot. Um, it's really helpful to have one of these trim removal tools because what you're going to do is you're going to um, uh, clip on the one part one part of the uh, the trim as best you can. Once you manage to seal it along the the glass. You're going to use this insert in between, there's a part that comes out and the main thick part. And you're going to kind of dig in and scoop uh, in this way onto the windscreen itself. And you just have to go a little bit at a time, pushing in until it's all flush. Um, the problem or the challenging part is doing the middle because there's really nowhere to stand. So either you get a ladder or you stand up through the the uh, back seat up through the um, the panel roof, assuming yours still works. Um, and that's it. And then once you get it all in, clean up the mess you made and uh, enjoy your new rubber uh, weather strip.